I thought I would make a video about, you know, my thoughts on Christian persecution and, you know, how I think it affects us. It's weird because as I go through it, uh, I've been thinking about the ways that Christians experience persecution all across the world, even today. Uh, you know, I'll start with America. We don't receive a lot of violent persecution, you know, people being killed and stuff like that. But we do receive intellectual persecution, if that makes sense. Everywhere you turn, you could, you know, you say you're Christian, you can uh, make your arguments and assertions for why you believe in Christ. And people will downplay it. Well, at least a lot of the atheists or active atheists who are seeking to debunk religion will downplay it, try to dismiss you as unintelligent and say that you don't think which I think is completely false, but that's another video within itself. But Christians receive that type of intellectual persecution all the time here in America. And that's just here, because when you move on to other places like North Korea and China in the Middle East, Christians are being like killed for their faith. And just a couple of years ago in North Korea, Kim Jong-un uh, ordered the execution of 33 Christians because, you know, he wants to stop uh, that belief system from entering the country just be, just because they're Christians. They didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything to hurt anybody, but just because he didn't want the faith there. Um, in China, the government's trying to control uh, and contain Christianity. They don't want too many people. They're making churches take crosses off their doors and trying to control how many house churches there are in China and basically trying to stamp it out. And Middle East, Christians are beheaded. You know, it's so much going on to Christians and all this persecution they're receiving across the world. But the crazy part about it is that Christianity is still thriving. And you would think that if someone was joining the faith that is being heavily persecuted, that it would die out. And in history shows that typically when that happens to a faith, it does die out. But Christianity, since the beginning, has been persecuted, but it continues to grow. As a matter of fact, make the argument that as persecution happens, Christianity continues to expand and to grow in the area where there is persecution. Christianity is usually thriving, which is a really weird, <laughs> paradoxical almost concept there. And I think that itself attests to the validity of Christianity. The fact that People will take the persecution of Christianity and still want to believe and still feel compelled to think that faith in Jesus is worth it. Attest to the validity of the faith itself. And I just had I was thinking about that. And, you know, this topic can be discussed a little bit more. But those just like some general thoughts that I had on it. Thank you for listening. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Reply in the comments and subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for more videos. Thank you.